Hello everybody, now I'm super excited today because Huawei actually sent me here to Shanghai, one of the biggest cities in China, to check out something called 5.5G at MWC 2023. Now, by today, I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with how 5G works, how we are having it on our phones, how fast it is, but 5.5G is actually taking things to the next level. It's actually up to 10 times faster than 5G. So, the whole big question here is all about what can you actually do with 5.5G and how is it going to affect our daily lives? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out all about that. So let's head over and find it out now. All right, guys, first of all, 3D is coming. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard of 3D, but with 5.5G, you're going to get even faster speed so you can download everything even faster. You're going to have faster upload speeds and of course, even lower latency. So what can we expect in terms of 3D, guys? Well, so I was at the MWC booth and of course, I saw an entire 3D ecosystem of products. You know, you can see 3D on your phone, your tablet, and even your computer. But what I found even more interesting is that you could even have a 3D frame on the wall in your home and I think that's super cool because with all those moving effects it does remind me a bit of what we saw in the Harry Potter movies where their picture frames was actually moving so that's really really cool now another thing about 3D is all about 3D live stream previously it took a very long time to convert 2D to 3D but with 5.5G guys 3D live stream is going to be so much more faster and again guys once you experience 3D you won't really want to experience 2D because the experience that you can get a great experience really creates something that is very very much more immersive. Speaking about 3D, this brings me on to my next point that is all about AR, MR, VR, XR and long story short, those are those interactive immersive experiences. Now one example that I found was actually at MWC where I put on the X-Real glasses and I noticed that once I put on those glasses guys, I could actually see a very wide screen computer that has all my desktop stuff all on the screen itself right in front of my eyes. You could actually also watch movies of up to 130 inches which is just massive guys. Definitely you're going to want that 5.5G faster speeds with lower latency. Alright guys, so my next point here is actually related to where I'm standing and that is actually by the road because it's all about connected or intelligent vehicles. Let me show you a very cute uh, example of what 5.5G can do. Now at MWC 2023, I actually saw this really cute ice cream van that you might think is just a normal small van, but what's on it is actually two LiDAR sensors and up to nine cameras that allows it to go around the neighborhood, drive around the road without any driver on board, guys. That's how cool it is. Imagine this, you're just at home and a driverless ice cream van comes up to you and you can just make your purchase directly from the van itself without having to deal with anybody. All you need to do is just scan the QR code, make your payment and then get the ice cream out from the box. It's that simple guys. But what's more important here is that with those LiDAR sensors as well as cameras on board, it is actually picking up a lot of data on the road such as your traffic information, you know, if there's any congestions going on, like how many cars are on the road. It's actually tracking the streets and actually creating a virtual version of the road itself all in real time guys. So with 5.5G, these little mini vans are actually able to upload up to 30 terabytes in one single day guys. So imagine this, the data process is also going to be faster. According to Huawei, the data processing now only takes one day compared to seven days before 5.5G is actually available. So pretty cool stuff there. Now another part of this 5.5G is all about V2X which is actually to allow all the vehicles on the road to be connected to one another. And this will actually help to build up you know, more information on how the road traffic is, what it's going to be, and of course, this will definitely help to reduce the road congestions that we face in all big cities. All right, guys, another really interesting use case that 5.5G can bring to industries is actually all about warehousing. Now, just imagine this. In a warehouse, there's a lot of boxes, a lot of stock in there. And previously, or I should say right now, a lot of workers are actually doing stock take or stock count by manually scanning the RFID tags that are actually placed on the stock itself. So just imagine a guy, a worker, walking through the entire warehouse, you know, scanning these labels one by one, and it's going to take a lot of time to actually count the entire stock in the warehouse. Now, 5.5G is going to completely disrupt the entire warehousing system and this is because Huawei actually did something really clever here. Now what Huawei actually introduced to this warehousing system is that they actually use passive IoT tags to replace the RFID tags. Now what is a passive IoT tag? Basically these are similar looking tags, very small and very cost efficient and these tags actually use energy from the surrounding system and they can actually be connected to your 5.5G cloud. So 
Whenever you want to do a stock check or a stock count, all you need to do is just log into the system and it'll take a couple of seconds and you'll be able to find out everything that's currently in the warehouse itself. With 5.5G, everything can be calculated instantly. It's completely crazy, guys. All right, guys, so with that said, that pretty much wraps up our video here in Shanghai, MWC 2023. Hopefully, you've learned a thing or two about 5.5G and how it affects us in our daily lives. Last but not least, before we go, of course, if you have any further questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. I really appreciate all of your support and I definitely look forward to seeing you guys once again in the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.